we turned around and, and started looking towards the ground and seen a lot of debris coming up off the ground. And immediately at that time, I radioed back uh, to our fire station and advised them I had a tornado on the ground that was approaching the city. At that time, uh, we blew the sirens in Baxter and the city of Joplin at that point was also contacted by our emergency management team and they blew their sirens as well. Uh, we cleared the church uh, to get people to shelter. As I was leaving the church, I, I looked up toward Quapaw and saw a funnel uh, descending here in Baxter. Uh, they say there was even more than one funnel, but one made most of the damage that uh, cut through the heart of town. My wife and my daughter got in the front bathroom. Stuff just, you know, little stuff just hit us, and then it, it tried, to, tried to suck me out through the roof. I have a mentally handicapped daughter, and when it started getting real loud, she said, oh, I don't want to go to hell. And I said, you won't. And at the time I was saying, you won't, I was thinking, we might be going to heaven. <laughs> uh, but then, like I said, five seconds later, it was over. And then they were screaming, and I was telling them it was OK. And we didn't care about the house. We were OK. I think I was more upset about everyone else's, and ours was still standing. Just wanted to make sure you know everyone was okay because we know everybody around here and just you know your first thought is Joplin and so but everyone was fine. The, the community already depressed by various industries that have left town hit pretty extensive through the heart of the town. A lot of homes blown apart, uh, some businesses completely destroyed, uh, some somewhat destroyed, but there's there's been a, a pretty big impact for a town of 4,000 people and uh, it's, it's going to be quite an adjustment, a lot of recovery. We've had a long-standing relationship with other uh, times that Samaritan's Purse has done outreach and help in other communities and other nations even. We've, we've supported that and so uh, they came to us and through working things out, it, it was a great matchup for us to be able to minister together in the community. This morning it was decided that we'd break up into teams to go out and, and to begin assessing the uh, situation. We put out door hangers to to let people know there's help. And uh, I feel like it's been a fruitful day. We've talked to a lot of great people. We've, we've determined areas where we can help and bless them with, with physical help and hopefully uh, at some point uh, make them realize that, that they are loved by their fellow man and Jesus Christ.